Hello everybody, this is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com and today I am going to make a flower. Now I know that I've made flowers before and this is actually a flower for a project that I am working on for Three Girl Jam. And before we get started I wanted to show you a few new things that Julie has added to the store. We have brand new Christmas ribbon. And I cannot tell you how much I like this ribbon. In fact, I'm probably sacrificing a good portion of this ribbon of the pink for this flower, but that's okay because the flower's for a special person. But this is the new ribbon candy um, ribbon that we have in the Three Girl Jam store that Julie has made, especially for the holiday season. And um, it is beautiful. You know, it's got kind of a creamy base with the red, and then this one is the green and they're just gorgeous. So that's one thing that's um, new to the Three Girl Jam store, so be sure and um, check that out. Another thing that's new to the Three Girl Jam store this year, um, uh, uh, Julie's been making flair, and she's added some flair for Christmas. Um, these are some that I have, and I'll be using one of those. I haven't decided for sure which one, but this is the traditional Christmas color chevron. Um, and th my particular one, is flat back, which is what I prefer. You can also get this in um, pin back, but I prefer the flat back for the projects I do. But I really like this. It reminds me of an old peppermint candy. Really like that one. And then this one says um, things about Christmas. It's like a subway tile. It says Christmas and Merry and Joy and 25 and 12 and just a, like a subway. And I, I'm kind of leaning that this will be the one I use, but I may use the peppermint candy. So um, I'm going to show you one more thing before I make the um, flower. And I learned to make these flowers from one of the design team girls, um, Abby, um, at Three Girl Jam. She taught me to make these flowers, and I know I've shown you them before because I make them a lot. But today we're going to actually do a tutorial. But Julie also has added this wonderful trim to the Three Girl Jam store. It comes in gold and kind of a, a burlap color and the red and the green and then um, a creamy color. It's just fun trim. I'm not using it on this project, but I probably will be doing projects with it soon. And then there's also some fibers that she's added to the stores. Um, and these are more fall colors um, or wintertime colors and not so much Christmas colors, but you could pull some of those out for Christmas as well. So let's get started on the flower. Um, and this is a large flower, probably the largest one I've ever made. So um, I know it's going to use a lot of this crinkle ribbon, but that's okay because it's for somebody very special. So um, typically when I'm making a flower, I, again, make them much smaller, and I take one of my punches. I have punches in several sizes, and I punch a circle. But because I knew I wanted a large flower for this one, I actually grabbed something that was close at hand, and that was my Diet Coke glass. And I traced it on some cardstock and um, put that um, uh, and made a circle and cut it out. Now remember that when you're doing this that there's a potential for some of your base to show through. So where you can use some scraps to do this, you do want to kind of be careful and only use scraps um, that if a little bit shows through isn't going to be a problem. And then what I've done is I've taken score tape and I have covered the entire top with score tape. Now I've um, I tried making flowers using other things, and I have to tell you my favorite medium to do this with is score tape. It just works really super well. So now I'm going to trim off some of that score tape. Um, I just make long strips, and you don't have to trim it off. You could cut, tuck it behind, but for the purposes of this video, I am just going to trim it off. It doesn't have to be perfectly trimmed off because I can go back through again and tuck it behind. Um, and my circle is anything but perfect because it was kind of awkward. My glass has a little bit of ridging in it, so it was a bit awkward, but that is how I'm doing that. So let's just move that aside there. And now we'll start peeling away our score tape. Now this will be sticky to deal with. Like I said, you could use um, Oh, you could use hot glue if you wanted. I would probably burn my fingers. You could use whatever type of medium that you wanted. But I found that for me, it works. The reason I like the score tape is because it's got a really strong bond to start with. And second of all, 
um, I can do strips upon strips and so this is a whole sticky disc. Now I know that there are discs that you can purchase that you could do the same thing with. They're um, glubbers and those kind of things. But this is just as easy for me and it just uses stuff that I have on hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the end of my ribbon here and we're just going to start um, making it. I'm just going to, um, I kind of took down that first little piece and I'm just going to put it at the edge, near near the edge, and then you're just going to um, manipulate the ribbon until you go all the way around. I make little pleats in mine, and I don't care if it's perfectly straight because I think it looks more natural if the edges aren't, you know, if some of them's a little bit further away and some of them's a little bit closer together. I just think it adds to the authenticity of making it look like a flower. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to speed, <clears throat> excuse me, speed up the video um, so that it, you don't see me doing this because it does, it does take a bit of time to go through and just do it. But before I speed up the video again, we just kind of pleat and stick down pleat, stick down, pleat, stick down, and it's, the ribbon is thin enough that it just really um, sticks it really well. Okay, so now we'll speed up the video. Okay, now I've made it all the way around once, and so I'm going to start going around the second time, and all I'm going to do is just kind of pleat and then just come down a little bit and then we'll start the second row again we're just pleating and coming down and it's a continuous piece going around but you can see why I said that you have to be careful because some of your white would come through so this is something that I definitely would not want to do with black cardstock since my um, color is a light color. If I was doing um, navy blue or using tuxedo black or, or dre uh, dress blue, I think is what it's called, or one of those colors, then using a darker cardstock would be just fine. But in using this one, I want um, a light color behind so that I don't lose. I Well, I could actually do red behind too. That would probably be very pretty as well. Um, the beautiful thing about this variegated ribbon from Three Girl Jam is because it's handmade, there um, is a lot of variation inside of it with the colors, which is perfect for making a flower. This one's actually almost probably going to look more like a rosette. It's going to be so large, but that's okay. Um, it's still, you'll, you'll see how beautiful it will look with this ribbon, but all those various colors just provides a lot of flow and movement in the different shadows and shading, just like it would in a normal flower. And as you see here, I'm working on my third pass around and I'm covering more and more into the circle. And the exciting news for me is, I think that I will get to have some left over. So I'm not going to use my whole thing of ribbon. So Julie, if you're seeing this video, thank you so much for giving me not only enough ribbon to make something beautiful, but so that I don't use it all up on one project. That's fabulous. Okay, so I'm just about to the middle and I could do one of two things and quite frankly, I haven't quite decided yet what I'm going to do. I think, yeah, I'm just going to stop right here. So to stop, I'm just going to cut at an angle so that it doesn't fray too much and see I still have some, a good amount left and I'm just going to kind of tuck this in again so that it doesn't fray. And there we have that part of the flower. So I'm going to take this now, and this is why I made such a large flower because I wanted it to really be a centerpiece of this one. And let's just play and see which one. I'm thinking I'm going to go with my original plan 
and use that for the centerpiece. So for this, I'm going to gr grab some glossy accents just because I want to be sure that it really, really sticks well um, because it does have that metal backing. I just want to give it that extra support. And my glossy accents is a bit clogged because I've not used it in a while. I just haven't had much craft time lately. So I have to unclog the glossy accents. Sorry about that. And I am going to, again, be pretty generous with the glossy accents. Not so much that it comes out and around. So I'm generous in the middle and leaving the edges kind of open so that it will, as I smoosh it down, it'll come out. And at this point, I really don't care if it's on here upside down or straight. When I put it on the finished project, I'll make sure that I put it in the center. So there we have just kind of a fun, fluffy flower. Um, or whoops slid that right off or rosette piece to use for um, a project that I have coming if you're interested in the project just hang on because in just a few days on December 6th we are going to be having a blog hop with the three girl jam design team and my project will feature this flower so check back on youtube and go to threegirljam.blogspot.com and get more information just keep watching for that it will each of the design team plus we have some guest designers will be um making a special project for this blog hop so thanks so much for stopping by today and remember take some time to enjoy the little things have a great day bye